Isn't it beautiful how life can bring things like this? Really cool flowers. Then in a blink of an eye, I could take it all away. Guys, this ain't gonna be one of my normal videos today. No, mm -mm. Haven't made a video in the last couple days. Had a lot going on. Let me run that intro and I'll tell you all about it. Wanna go downstairs? Come on, wanna go in the backyard? Come on, let's go. Lazy. This past weekend, we had a graduation party for my oldest son, and yeah, that went off really well. I was going to do some videos on that. I actually kind of started a video, but I got to be so busy trying to play host, I just didn't have time to pick up the camera. And also, this weekend, I lost a really close friend. Another one. Yeah. Tell ya, that makes three in one year. Kind of got me thinking how one minute you could be at top of the world next minute you could be gone it happened to me back in March 2014 it changed that changed my life but yeah my buddy Ron passed on good friend of mine I talk to almost on an everyday basis uh, at least about three to four times a week perfectly fine and healthy then diagnosed with cancer and lost his battle in one month that quick I hate making videos like this I do I do I do. and again I'm sure you're asking why are you making a video like this we all cope differently when we lose a friend I usually walk and think about it and I pick up a camera this is what I do next couple weeks maybe a month I'm planning on getting my chainsaw out and mowing half that crap down yeah that's off the subject it's just I was looking at it and I thought about saying it. But anyway, makes you wonder, you know. My buddy Ron was a good man. He really was. <laughs> he knew how to push just the right buttons to make me do things. That's right. Do you remember back when I cleaned my basement? If you guys have been following me this whole time, back when I did all that cleaning in my basement, it's because my buddy Ron pushed my buttons until I started doing it. The door... The, no, you guys haven't seen the door video. I'll tell you that when I get up topside. I had to come running up these steps. I mean, we're talking running, damn fell and busting my face open because she's trying to get out the gate again. And that's why I got the wooden piece on there. She knows she could jump it, but she likes to try to pull it down first. She can't do that, then she jumps it. I'm still trying to figure out why she does this. Anytime I go to where that lawn tractor used to be, she thinks I'm going to start it up and it scares her so bad she wants to leave. But the lawn tractor's out front. She knows us. I don't know. But anyway, let me show you something. I walk past this door hmm, a thousand times in my videos. Well, it got painted. That's one of the things my buddy Ron been on me for a year to do. And the other day, I painted it for him. You probably didn't see the video unless you're on my Facebook. It's only posted that to Facebook because it was made for my buddy Ryan. And his wife, Lainey, showed him the video. This is about a week before he passed on. Showed him the video and it actually made him smile. Made me feel good inside. But yeah, my buddy Ron was one of a kind. He truly was. He was also a Marine. That's right. He was four years older than I am. That means he's 54, I'm 50. And he was quite a guy. He's also an excellent husband. Just all around perfect guy. He truly was. And back, oh, we're gonna go two months ago. Top of the world. I actually used to sit there and eat a bucket of jelly, game, uh, jelly beans and sit there. <laughs> <laughs> sit there and look at me and I'd be like you know what if I ate that you know how many miles I have to walk it off he sit there and laugh at me because he was losing weight but yet eating jelly beans me if I even look at a candy bar or something I'd gain 20 pounds it's just what kind of guy he was you know <laughs> I'm going to miss him I am I'm going to miss him it's got me thinking though why my wife Angie says things run in threes I wish it didn't happen to him. 
I'm going to have to tell you, I'm going to have to stay topside to make sure Stormy don't try to jump out that gate. I don't know what's wrong with her. Wish that stupid lawn tractor would sell. That way, maybe when she knows it's gone, she won't be so afraid. Also makes me ask the question, I never really said this to anybody yet, I've been holding it to myself, why does God save my life, but yet takes my buddy Ron? Cancer is a horrible thing. God, this cancer is so horrible. I had a heart, a heart attack, and he had cancer, but yet, the Lord saved me. Why didn't he save him too? Well, it also says in the Bible, we should not question that. Just wish I knew that answer. Well, like I said, I started the, the video. This ain't gonna be like my normal videos. This is how I cope. I made a video when I lost my friend Keith. Made a video when I lost a buddy of mine, Don. Didn't make a video when I lost my friend back in January, Bernard. The only thing I did then was just walk and, you know, clear my head. So, guys, this is pretty much it. This video is for you, Ron. Godspeed, my friend. Godspeed. One day I know I'll see him again. But he's sure in hell going to be missed. Just like my buddy Keith. They're up there now. Wherever heaven is. I'm sure they're causing chaos. <laughs> yes, my buddy Ron and Keith knew each other as well. They were good friends too. So, you know they're up there causing chaos. Looking down on us. Laughing. Just a laughing. I'm going to tell you one more thing, too. Um, he left a note. I'm not going to say anything what said in the note. But when he was getting really bad and he still had all of his senses, he left a note to be read to his friends. And one of the things he asked is, there's no tears. Do not cry over me. Go on living, doing what you do best. And that I'm going to give to you. Uh, I kind of broke the promise I had, you know. I had some tears, but I am going to go on living, and I won't forget you, buddy. But anyway, guys, I uh, hate to bring a video out like this, but it's life, and that's what vlogs are. Life. Real life. Fourth of July is coming up. I'm hoping to go over to my neighbors across the street, if everything works out, get some body of the firework footage over there. That's the best place to see them is over there. But I will have a video, at least quite a few of them before then. Guys... I'm going to sit there and talk to Izzy. The gate down underneath the deck was open. We're trying to figure out how and when that happened. Because none of us been down there since Saturday. So, yeah. Alright, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Come on. Let's get out of here.